So at long last, today is the day. The day that the hybrid turbo we're gonna lay on. So I'm gonna get it jacked up. Um get the driver's side jacked up so I can get to the air intake and the intercooler pipe. Um and then start stripping it down ready for the new turbo to go on. First thing I need to take off is the air intake. Get all that removed now and take the inlet manifold off and then go from there. Let me start with that. Yeah, I think we have to get underneath to take that off. It looks like. Spot boost pipe off and changing that anyway. It's starting to look a bit ropey, especially like the likes of that. Don't think it was actually doing anything. So I think it was time to change. So now, intake should come out. Now, as you can see, loads of room in there to get everything. So I'm going to start by taking the inlet manifold off and then I'm going to get the turbo off. Take the oil feed off because it runs under, I think, everything. That's relatively tight. It's tight as fuck. A little bit of lube. Just the bracket that holds the uh, oil feed on. That's up free. attempt to get this other feed off. No way. Right, so that's the oil feed off. Down pipe next. I shouldn't put up too much of a fight. Oh, maybe it will. Bloody hell, come on. Ow! This turbo seems a lot newer than 170,000 miles. There is no way, surely. That everything's gonna come off this easy on a cold 170k on it. Uh, right, so off. Thank <laughs> you. 
that is our turbo removed. So there we are, there's the two turbos on the bench. Uh, first thing you notice, obviously these cold sides are in different places. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to take these, loosen these little bolts off, move the cold side round and match up with that one. Uh, it's called clocking the turbo. So I'm gonna have to do that. Um, you can also see the difference in the impeller size. It's a lot bigger. Right, I'm gonna crack on, get this sorted. Um, and then we'll get it put back on the car, I think. The housing now clocked and in the right place, got the intake boot on there. Uh, also, newer uh, oil return pipe on this one compared to the old turbo, so I'll put that on, put a new gasket on there. Um, so let's go and take the old exhaust manifold gasket off and get this thing bolted up. Old gasket. New gaskets. I'm going to do is put the turbo oil feed on so that it stops leaking and figure out how to loop it. How the fuck am I going to get that on there? Let's do that. Nice. Very handy. Take power. We've now got the turbo fitted, all that sort of stuff. So now we're just going to flash the new map on, uh, take it for a road test. It's so slow today. See that? Come on. It's not an Alhambra, it's a fucking Leon. And it's a 1 and 1. Fucking hell. Come on. So I got the turbo installed on the Leon. Um, having a couple of teething issues with um, mapping. Also need to set the actuator up properly. Um, so hopefully we're going to follow this up. We've got a couple of little tweaks to do. Should be able to get it running a bit better. But for now, the turbo's on, all the hardware's done, um, which is obviously the worst part. So hopefully soon uh, we'll get it tuned up and get a nice road test on there. Uh, so don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to the channel would be great. Leave a comment if you like. I'll see you guys in the next video.